You can just type in good morning. Oh, right. Jess will need the phone in case people send in messages. How are we doing? Are we? Yay, good morning. I think we're live. Are we live, Rose? Yeah. Yay, good morning. Very warm welcome to our service this morning. Good also morning to Diane and Gordon who are with us and the, the oh, family. Hi. Say hello, that's it. <laughs> um, just to say it's our last family worship with the whole family together with you and we thought we'd do a family service, an all age service. Um, so there's some puppets, um, there's some interactive prayers and some and a, a nice mix of songs. We've got a lovely hymn at the end. So it's just great to have, it's like we're the three musketeers, aren't we, this, this week? <laughs> you know, we're like buses clergy, we come in free. So it's very unusual to have three, three people together. But it's, it's lovely to have Diane back, especially yeah. after, um, you know, after her op and everything else. And to have you... Have you back? It's a slow start this morning, I hope, Diane, and not, yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, not too exciting. So we're looking at a great passage this morning. Um, it's the feeding of the five thousand, and um, we've got lots of excitement to come. So I think I think Diane's going to open with um, with with our opening prayers for um, us. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot. thank you for that uh, lovely introduction, Bob. I'll speak to people at the end in the notice slot. But yeah, let's begin our worship. If you've got the words, then please follow with the words in bold. Let's say all of that together. So we're gathered here, aren't we, this morning, with each other virtually and, and mm. with God. So let's pray. Lord, speak to us that, that we, we may hear, hear your word. Lord. Move among us that, that we, we may behold be your glory. glory. Receive our prayers that, that we, we may learn, learn to trust you. you. Amen. Amen. So, I'm going to do our candle lighting. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The presence of the light reminds us of Jesus coming into our world and into our lives. God has claimed us as his own. He has, he has made, made us the light, light of the, the world. world. You can join me on the sofa if you like to, to have a sing. Lovely. So, our first song, apparently not many people know this, but we, we've just learned it, haven't we? We've just um, had a go, Diane and Gordon, and um, it, it's quite easy to pick up. So it's a song of praise, song of God's mercy. Um, and hopefully you can you'll pick up really quickly I think oh just to say before we start singing that we've got your messages live on screen at the, at the moment so you might see when you type in things there'll be a little bit of a delay but it'll appear on screen so just to let you know that is being broadcast um, obviously it comes up on Facebook anyway but the reason for that is we're gonna have a discussion later on and we really want you to send in your questions and your your thoughts so that's why it's on screen but just to warn you in case you hadn't noticed um, it, it being there but let's let, let's sing Ooh, let's get the words let's have a sing I will sing of the mercies of the Lord
the time that he goes down, I will sing all the mercies of the Lord. I will live as a offering to the Lord. I will live as a offering to the Lord from the rising of the sun to the time that he goes down. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to the time that it goes down, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. It wasn't too hard to do, was it? It's a nice no. song. Maybe. No, that's right, Gordon. It's a pretty straightforward song. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you all right doing the psalm for us, Gordon, for today? Yes, no problem. That's yes. Yeah, so we, we've just we've just uh, sung songs of praise to the Lord. We're now going to say uh, songs of praises to the Lord. Uh, you can see the words in dark, dark type. Please join in at that point in time. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord Lord is loving to everyone. everyone. Grace is the Lord and highly highly to be be praised. praised. You open wide your hand and fill fill all all living with with plenty. plenty. The Lord is near to those who call upon him. To all who call call upon upon him faithfully. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. The The Lord Lord is loving to everyone. everyone. Grace Grace is the the Lord and and highly to to be praised. So we're going to say sorry to God after praising him. And Rose is going to lead us in this part. We say sorry to you for all the wrong things we have done. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. We say sorry to you for all the wrong things we have said. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. We say sorry to you for the wrong things we have thought. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. We say together, may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's great to be forgiven. I'm going to put it back on gallery view. Here we go. So we can see Diane. Hi, Diane. <laughs> and we've got a little song. It's to the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, just as an introduction to our drama. So I might need some help singing this. Oh, and I need a capo because it's too low for me otherwise. Can you see the words okay? There we go. I'll try not to set light to myself with the candle. It'll be one of those. some 
small way. We want to be kind and good, just as Jesus said we should. There. So we've, we've got our, our drama coming up. Um, but I thought just to help Gordon with the drama, I'd give him some bread. Here's the here's the bread we've got. So um, here you go, Gordon. Uh, oh, thank thank you, Bob. It's really good to share, and I'll enjoy that very shortly with a nice sausage. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're going to get our our puppeteers in place. Ooh. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. So, sorry about that. There we go. And our, dra our drama today reminds us of how one person helped a lot of people in the days of Jesus and reminds us of how we can help others as we go about our lives. One day, a lot of people were sitting on a hill listening to Jesus. Suddenly, they heard the sound of rumbling. Oh, was it an oh, earthquake? Oh. Was it a tornado? Ooh. They started very quietly Ooh. and gradually got louder Ooh. and louder Ooh. and louder. Ooh. What's that noise? Asked one of Jesus' friends, a man called Andrew. It's my stomach, said a voice. No, it's not. It's my stomach, said another voice. No, it's not. It's my stomach, said another voice. All over the hillside, stomachs oh. were rumbling steadily and everyone was hungry. Has anyone got any food? Asked Andrew. No one had. And the rumbling continued. Oh dear. Said Andrew. Things are looking very serious. There are thousands of people here. We could start an avalanche with all this rumbling. Ooh. Then... A little boy stuck up his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He said. I've got loads of food. My mum gave me extra. What a relief. <laughs> and everyone perked up then. Bring it over here. Said Andrew. So the little, so the little boy did. Where is it all? Here. That. Here said the boy, and he held up a little sack. That. Said Andrew. But there's only five loaves and two little fish. I don't mind sharing it. Said the boy. It's way too much for me. Way too much. Andrew looked at the little boy, who just smiled. So Andrew looked at Jesus, and he just smiled. You and the others can pass it round, said Jesus. But there's only five loaves and two little fish, said Andrew. No problem said Jesus. I'll say grace. And so he did. He blessed the food and then slowly with terrified faces his friends broke the five loaves of two little fish into small pieces <laughs> and began to pass round the crumbs. <laughs> on and on they passed it round and the food never ran out. 
At the end of the day, when everyone had full stomachs, they went round collecting up the leftovers, and they had 12 baskets of food. You can do a bow. There we go. Hey, thanks, Gordon. <laughs> okay. What a miraculous story. And we're going to hear it in a um, in another form. Um, now, the Sigworth family have recorded a, recorded reading the the story. So I'm just going to introduce the gospel hear the gospel of our lord jesus christ according to matthew glory to you O lord so we're going to hear this the sigwa family um read us the story good morning feeding of the five thousand now when jesus heard this he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself but when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the village and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You need to give them something to eat. They replied, we have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish. He looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all they had were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, 12 baskets full. And those who it were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Amen. Thank you for reading to us. Um, I'll just ask Rose to turn down the speaker. <laughs> I, sound, I sound like I'm in an echo land. It's just so we can hear, hear what they've said. Um, Wow, I just wondered if Diane would pray for us um, before we have our discussion. Yeah, let, let's just pray. And now we've heard and seen the word. Um, Lord, we thank you that you speak to us through the words of Scripture, through the word made flesh and what you would say to us through him. Bless our thinking now, Lord, and our discussing as we unpack this uh, Bible reading together this morning. Speak your words to us, Lord, and open our minds to what you would say to us. And we ask this through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I think probably the best way to start, what I would, would really like you to do at home, is to send in your questions, if you've got any questions about the passage, you can either text them in to Jess on the number that's on the top um, corner there um, or, or, or message them in for, for Rose to, to monitor. And I think I'm just going to give you like a minute just to think about it. And if you're, if you're fortunate enough to be with someone else, just to talk to them about the passage. And we're, we're do, and then, then we'll explore some of those questions that have come in or some of the ones that we've thought about already. And I think what we'll do, I'll ask Rose to knock down our microphone so we can, us, we can talk here just for a minute together.
Let's continue. Gordon, just unmute yourself. Gordon, you're on mute. I think what's what's really struck me um, over this last few months is the way people have been helping others. You just mentioned people that are shielding, mm -hmm. people that have been locked in their homes, uh, and whether it's been making them a shepherd's yeah. spy or mm -hmm. taking them a bag of groceries or whatever. And I think that really, this story really links into that where very small amount can really be so special to a lot of, you know, a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. Certainly what I drew from it. Yeah. But well, we're, we're live now with everybody, so we, we can just start having a, a discussion. I was just going to say to the folks at home, we, we had a, and Diane had a really interesting reflection on just how relevant this passage is to us now, you know, with the worries about being provided for. Do, do you want to say anything about that, Diane? Because I thought that was a yeah, really good point. I was point. just sort of reflecting on some people have come out of shielding, haven't they, um, mm. from the 1st of August and how that how how that looks to them but also just how people may be worried about um the future they've maybe just been coming out of furloughing and they may be made redundant there's something here about providing for e each other and our families and how worrying that might be mm. and it does speak to us doesn't it of god's provision yeah. but and, and sort of the thankfulness to god but actually providing for for us in in what is a very unsettling time but then Gordon made the really good link. Do you want to follow on, Gordon, with what you said about that, about the shielding? Yeah. yeah, I think what's really struck me during this last few months is the way people have helped others, people who are shielding, people who are in lockdown for all sorts of different reasons. And that might be just by providing a shepherd's pie or some groceries or just something that they need. Um, and, and that, to me, is, you know, what this is all about, what Jesus is saying to us through this, is we've got to be, even though it might be very little, we've got to be ready to share it and show it to, to others. So that's why, yeah, thanks, Dan. I think there's a there's a real contrast, because at the beginning it says about Jesus has just heard that, you know, mm -hmm. John the Baptist has been beheaded. Awful, terrible, terrible, sad, sad thing. Something really dreadful. And that was at a meal, wasn't it? That was at a, a big banquet so this is the, that kind of lovely contrast between this kind of gluttony and waste and awful awfulness to this to the beautiful banquet that we have with Jesus who provides just what we need the simple things bread and and fish and it's through sharing and him blessing our sharing and our love for one another and I think there's a lovely contrast there from the going to the shops and getting you know just being kind of driven in our worlds and this pandemic has stopped us and made us deeply um, re re rethink what's important and, and, and what's important. Yeah. I've, we've had a question in, Rose, do you want to go to your camera so you can just say there? No, it's, just a, it's just a kind of... Oh, a comment. a comment. Oh, is it? Okay, I might be able to read from here. So, so Margaret's written, if you're willing to share more than there is enough food to feed everyone in the world, we need to think more about how we use all our resources. Absolutely brilliant point, Margaret, especially with the environmental stuff as well, as we think about caring for our planet as well as caring for one another. Um, that is a strong message from, yes. from, from this. Oh. And well, I think one thing that I always draw from this story, and a lot of uh, the preempts to the sort of the parables and stories that Jesus tells, is that he always seems to make time to go out and be quiet. Mm. And I think what lockdown has just taught me is that you can, you know, you've been able to do that by just going for a walk around Swillington or wherever you live. Um, but it, it's so important that in the busyness of life, and it's easier said than done, but we've got to try to find that time just to be quiet and be still. And uh, and I think that's, you know, that's good, you know, just for us all. Mm. Yeah, I feel from my own experience of being on sick leave for six weeks, I've had more time to um, pray and reflect and it's I've just valued that so much because yeah there is the priorities of life isn't it and just within I wasn't busy busy 
but I, I found how much I developed in my spirituality because I was spending more time being with God, sat in prayer while I was off. Mm. And I, I felt very fed by that and, and I'm thankful. And it's just, how do we fit that in when our lives get our busier? But yeah, how essential. He, he just showed us that, didn't he? He always went off to pray to his father at major mm. times. And I love this, this reference here of, you know, during that busyness of the picnic, he was still reminding them God's there because he was asking God to bless them, bless the food. And it's in the everyday, isn't it? And, and just reminding ourselves that God's in everything. And even in busyness, reminding ourselves, yeah, thank you, God, for blessing this moment. Um, and I love the fact that God over blessed them. He provided them with more than they needed, more than they needed. That's wonderful, isn't it? A wonderful image. He over blesses us actually sometimes doesn't it there's this lovely super abundance or almost ridiculous abundance and that that bread would have shared out beyond those people yeah. there i mean that's one of the one of the things about it is that we're blessed but we're over blessed and that spills out to other people and that's that's what attracts people to jesus because they see that that overabundance if you like that over almost over generosity of god and pe people had taken food home there's extra baskets home and and given it to other people i think is, have we got any more questions oh someone's written yes um wendy's written yes we should thank thank goodness for charities like fair share that get given food that would be disposed of to take a to take for those in need and that's right there's been a lot of giving during this period i know we've, we've all been delivering food parcels especially at the beginning um giving still giving to the food bank um and i know it's it's been a real time of us in our abundance really being able to bless others because that blessing comes from god um does anyone else want to say anything this is quite exciting i've not done this before <laughs> online have you got any I suppose it is ah, just, you know, when yeah. you read this text, seeing, just imagining yourself there and and mm. what sort of things would you have been asking Jesus and thinking about not Jesus? And it's trying to relate yourself into that story, isn't it? Mm. And imagining yourself as one of the characters possibly in the story, just to try and imagine the scene. And then like we're doing, it's always then bringing it back to your own life, isn't it? And where you are. And, and so what does that mean to me now, right now, in whatever's going on in my life? Can I relate it to that or not? And mm. and also to us as churches, how do we relate all of this to how we are as church and what that looks like in our generosity and our giving and our outreach to others, isn't it? It's trying to work that out as church as well as individuals. Yeah. Is Reuben around or? He's just gone downstairs, but that was his like. Profession. Well, yeah, Reuben said something very useful. He's just gone downstairs, but he he was saying, "What about a Andrew's lack of faith?" Actually, he didn't believe it. yeah, he didn't actually believe it was possible, and and also the way that Jesus kind of said to them, "You go and do it," you know, um, and and it, they're kind of like. What can we do with all these people? How, how can we can we support them? And and even in that lack of um, you know faith in in caring for people, God still blesses us. Still still pours out His generosity. And I think that's you know you you could sit down and say where, where am I in this story? Like what you've just said, Diane. And you could be one of those the disciples who's saying I don't know if I believe this looking at my circumstance and that's okay now yeah, that's all right too um and, uh, you know following on from that from what dan just said i think jesus yes was concerned about people's spiritual lives but he was also concerned about their physical well-being and you know his first thought was you know to sit them down and feed them and to make sure they were comfortable and i suppose it's how we can relate that to a world which is very needy today and mm. share that you know that that's such a it's such an important message yeah we've got to think about you know 
spiritual life, but we've also got to think about where people are and how they're struggling in just to, yeah. to survive. The practicalities. I think Ro yeah. I think Rose is, do you want to say something, Rose, as well? Oh, sorry. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good point. The the boy did offer the food. He wasn't asked to do it. He, it was no. out of his own. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, and God works with what you've got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God works with what you've got. Yeah. And sometimes we think, well, we're not really well resourced in a church, <laughs> or we're not actually. We don't have a lot as a family, or as a, but actually, God, as we can see, just works with what you've got. <laughs> And so we can never sort of think, oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Or, yeah. I, you know, what can I do? Even the tiniest thing God mm. can work with, can't he? Yeah. Well, I feel like we've got loads out of that passage. And it's been lovely to, 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 to have a chat. I think we should probably move on to our prayers. Um, we've got action prayers. And I, yeah, um, Jess is just getting Reuben because he's doing some of the prayers. And um, I'm going to do a little refrain, a little song. In, um, he's got the whole world in his hands in between um, e each part of it. Um, and I think we've got plenty to pray into there from that passage and with what's going on. So you can join in singing if you, if you like as well. I'm going to grab my guitar. Oh, we're going to fit this one. Oh, we're fitting. We've got I've got a giant blow up world as well. <laughs> I don't know which how are, we're gonna do this. as long as we don't set light to it. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll be okay. Will it? Everyone's a critic. No, it'll be fine. Come. If you put come, it on the TV, come over here. Come, come. I just want to set light to myself. You there we go. First, Reeves, then we'll try and squeeze. Yeah. Uh, it may be more. Yeah, you uh, need to squeeze right up to me. Oh. Like we're related. There we go. <laughs> Good. It is quite a big, uh, yeah. I really don't think this is going to work. Oh, well, it is. <laughs> this is the world. We have got the world in our hands. There it there is. There we go. Is it upside down? Uh, yeah, there probably. we go. Yes, it is. Yeah. I didn't totally, as usual. <laughs> he didn't think this through. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. Just to say that these guys are doing the actions, but I'm blocking the telly, so oh. we, we, we can do the actions for the next verse. Yeah. Well done. We've got proper proper clergy okay. knowing what they're doing. It's good. <laughs> right. We pray for all those who Reach are still hand. suffering because of the coronavirus, especially those who are ill or recovering from being sick, and those who are worried about work or family. We pray for our local communities in Bradford, Calderdale and Kirklees, especially for our Muslim brothers and sisters who are celebrating Eid. Keep our communities strong and united, compassionate and kind in the face of our current struggles. Amen. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole Hold our stomachs for the action. If you grab hold of your stomach. We oh. pray for those who will not have enough to eat today, especially for our friends in Sundan, Lord Sudan. Sudan. Yeah. Lord help the world to share what it is has so no one goes hungry. Lord help uh, Amen. Sorry. He's got the whole world. In his hands he's got the whole wide world. In his hands he's got the whole world. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. So our action for this prayer is to give ourselves a hug. Give yourself a hug, that's right. So we pray for those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit today. And we pray especially for those on our prayer tree. So we pray for, for Raymond, for Jean, for Dorothy, for Jim, for Joan, for Donald, 
for Jane, for Chris, Melka, Andrea, Christine, Dawn, Sylvia, Bill, Barbara, Jordan, and Frida. We also pray for the friends and family of Brian and Marco, who have died recently. May they comfort all who are ill or mourn. May they know your love and healing this day. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole your son left the riches of heaven and became poor for our sake when we prosper save us from pride when we are needy save us from despair that we may trust in you alone through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen and I'm going to ask Reuben somehow to put this our prayers on the prayer tree, which we've been doing, which we started at the beginning of the pandemic. We have a lovely full prayer tree, Diane. It's been a wonderful thing to do over these last seven weeks. It's been a real blessing. And every day we've been praying for these folk <coughs> and for different situations. Let's finish our intercessions with the Lord's Prayer. Let's say together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let's just have a moment of peace and quiet and just ask for God's presence to, be, to continue to be with us. We just think of all those people that need your healing. We just offer our lives to God now, just in a moment of quiet. Just thank you, Jesus. Well, I thought it'd be lovely for Diane to share share the peace with us. We've been doing waving and virtual hugs, um, so I'm going to let Diane do the. Yeah, the thank you. I know we all just miss hugging each other and shaking hands, don't we? I know. Goodness knows how long this will be, but we can still share a virtual hug. <laughs> wrapping around and a, and a waving. So the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Virtual hugs and waves, everybody. <laughs> Sending everybody my love and, and God's love to everybody. Peace Bless be you. with you. Peace Bless be you. with you. Peace be with you. <laughs> Peace be with you. Peace be with you. So we've come to our our notices. Just a big thank you to you guys for joining us. It's been lovely to see you, Gordon and Diane. Uh, it's been been an unusual thing, but I think it's it's been lovely. And also, obviously, for Prem for putting the words together and helping me get them out. Um, to Neville and Sue for doing the CDs, which is a brilliant archive of music to have, which we're going to listen to in a moment. Um, I thought it'd be great for Diane just to say a little bit about what's been going on, how how she's been, uh, how her recovery's been going, 
and just just share with us this this lovely Sunday morning. It's lovely to see you back, Diane. Um, bless you really really nice thank you i have been over blessed by god in my uh, six weeks off i really have he's healed me really really well and and i've felt really carried um by everybody's prayers he says the same we both feel so carried and so we thank you so much for everybody's prayers it, we literally have felt carried and still do so thank you to everybody an absolute thank you to uh, everybody who sent me a card and some flowers and chocolate. My goodness, <laughs> I've been over blessed. It was like a florist shop one week. It was great in my front room. But thank you. I felt so loved and cared for. And um, it's been a special, special uh, time for me to rest, recuperate really well. And uh, I've had time to read and reflect and pray. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been really blessed. So I've come back refreshed. And I'm just taking it steady in the next week. Bob's still mm -hmm. here and I'll be shadowing him and just seeing how we're doing with all of the uh, worshipping church. And I'm thankful that all the churches are open. Bless you, everybody that was involved in that in any way. I was in Swillington yesterday and I, I'm hoping to be in the other two churches this week. And what a blessing to our congregations and communities that the churches are open. And, and just thank you so much to everybody who helped do that in any way. Um, yeah, I feel really well. Know that all the biopsies came back clear. And so I can hopefully draw a line under this part of my health issues. And um, yeah, just, just, I just can't say thank you enough, really. <laughs> it's just been um, a blessing uh, of everybody's care. Thank you to Gordon and to Bob, who I know I've done such a lot in the last six weeks, and especially to Bob and the family and i know this is the last week that we will share worship with you and the family together because next week um your family will be on holiday and then you're gonna help me with the worship next week aren't you yeah. before you join them so on behalf of everybody can i say a huge thank you to bob and the family yeah massive round of applause to all of your family bob everybody <laughs> in your family who's, who's, who, who's worshipped with us and it's been a blessing i dipped in at the beginning and uh i dipped in again at the end but it's been it's been lovely and um, just thank you bob for all that you've done because i know as i went on sick leave the churches were going to be allowed to open and, and gosh you know coordinating three churches um so thank you to you and all the team involved in that in every way. Oh, I better shut up now because I think I've said the word thank you a lot. I've all blessed you all with the word thankfulness. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to God for, for everything and my healing. Oh. Well, it's, we're just so pleased to see you back, Diane, and um, to see you healed. And we, we've, had, we've had a really lovely time, haven't we, worshipping together on these Sunday mornings. Yeah, it's, been real, it's been a real privilege, actually. And it's been lovely stepping in your shoes over these seven weeks. I've learned so much from from being with you all, and um, and you know I, I I take away more than I've given, which is lovely, as well. So um, uh, I think we'll we'll go to our slide. We'll we'll just have a look at what's happening this week. Rose can pop onto the just to say yeah. Although it's not quite July, um, we've got one at least one more week of this pattern. It may change. Uh, as things change, because things are changing quite rapidly. But this week we have our morning prayers, which are streamed at half past nine, uh, Monday to Wednesday. And in the evening, Monday to Thursday at half past six. And we have that extra morning prayer at half eleven streamed from Swellington. And yeah, sorry, Bob. Uh, sorry, oh. Bob. I did. Yeah, I forgot to say. Oh, I'm going to do midday. I'll do midday prayers oh, streamed yeah. from my... From my uh, study at twelve thirty, Monday to Thursday. Fantastic! So I hope, hopefully, you heard that. Yes, we're going to have the uh, midday prayers at twelve thirty, which is wonderful. And the churches are open for for prayer. Um, Kipax is open half nine to half eleven on Tuesday. On Alison Bywater is open Wednesday evening, half six to half seven and uh, Swillington 10 till 12 on the Saturday. We've got a dial-in <laughs> service. We've had one or two people join it. It's been really lovely. So please do phone in or ask me for the Zoom link because you can go in on it on Zoom, which means you get to see me. Um, uh, and it's a really short and lovely little service. Um, and of course, Sunday worship this evening at, at six 
we're going to have a Teze service and um, next Sunday it'll be me and Diane I think socially distanced somehow um, so that'll be lovely so lots going on this week we've also got our Bible study um, on Monday and um, sing along which has been going brilliantly so I'll email out, email out tomorrow with those details so um, lots happening so I'm going to ask Rose to go to our normal back to our slide there we go and I think unless Gordon has anything he wants to share with us I'll go back to I think we're 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 coming to the our closing prayer so I'm going to invite Reuben up to do the candle prayers at the end this is something we do in barracks so I thought I'd just introduce it and see how it went um yeah it's there Jesus said I am the light of the world Carrying his light out into the world for all people everywhere. <laughs> Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. We go into the world listening to God, walking in God's light, rejoicing in God's love, and reflecting God's glory. Amen. So this is our final hymn. It's a classic. Uh, Guide me, O Thou, Great Redeemer. So have a, have a good sing at home. And um, I'll ask Rose to go to our final hymn. I need to turn that mic. Yeah. Here we go. I think, Diane, are you going to lead us in the grace together? Uh, yeah, I can do. If you want yeah. to do the actions, please do. Absolutely. May the grace of, of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the, the love of God and, and the, the fellowship of, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit with, with us all, all evermore. evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for joining us, Diane and Gordon, for the drama. Thank you for everyone for joining us um, this morning. Please do come for coffee in a minute or two. Um, we have um, coffee on Zoom. You should have had a link through. And God bless. Have a, have a super day. I'm going to get Rose to run down. She's going to play the piano for us on our outro. And I'll do all the, all the bits.